Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the series of cloud formation for beginners. So in today's tutorial, we are going to create an EC2 instance along with the security group and the EC2 instance that we are going to uh, create, this would be an Ubuntu EC2 instance. And in this Ubuntu instance, that is the EC2 instance, we are going to install Apache 2. So how we are going to uh, install the Apache 2? We are going to install the Apache 2 by mentioning the installation commands of uh, Ubuntu in the AWS EC2 user data. So let's go ahead and see what exactly we are going to perform as part of this tutorial. So guys, before we move ahead, it is very important for you to understand what are the prerequisites before implementing this tutorial. So you have to make sure that you have a cloud formation extension uh, being installed in your Visual Studio code because we are going to code our uh, cloud formation template in Visual Studio. By any chance, if you have not installed it, I will put the link of this video in the description above and you can refer it from there. Moving to the next prerequisite, guys make sure that you have the VPC and Internet Gateway installed. Along with that, uh, this VPC should be associated with the Internet Gateway. By any chance, if you have not installed this stack, uh, make sure to install it. I will paste the link for these uh, two videos in the description above. You can go ahead, uh, refer it and you can install it before performing the current tutorial. The last prerequisite would be make sure that you have a public subnet installed along with the public route table and the associ association of that route table to the public subnet. By any chance, if you have not installed it, I will add the link of this video in the description above so you can refer it. Now, uh, moving towards the diagrammatic representation. So over here, we already have VPC and Internet Gateway associated with that VPC, which is enabling the Internet access within this VPC. Now, within this VPC, we have launched a public subnet uh, as part of our prerequisite and this public subnet is having a public round table, which is having a round entry to internet gateway following the internet traffic within this public subnet also. Now, as we have the internet traffic within this uh, public subnet, we are going to launch an Amazon EC2 instance uh, that would be the Ubuntu instance and this Amazon EC2 instance is going to have a security group which will allow HTTP and SSH code. So, if we enable both of this code, you will be able to SSH into this EC2 instance and you can also access the uh, EC2 instance by using port EP. Now, what we are going to do different in this tutorial is we are going to install Apache 2 as a part of our build template where we will mention the installation commands of the Ubuntu Apache 2. So guys, before building the template, let's go ahead and understand what exactly are we going to uh, use as part of this template. So guys, we are going to create two resources. One would be the EC2 instance that we are going to create and another would be the security group. The security group is going to open the 80 and the uh, 22 that is the SSH port so that we can log in into the EC2 instance as well as we can also uh, log in, uh, we can also open that from the browser by using port 80. And as part of best practice, we are going to output the uh, Ubuntu instance ID and the Ubuntu instance security group. So as we have understood uh, the component requirements, let's jump to the Visual Studio code and start building the template. So I will just create a new template. It would be EC2 underscore user data dot jump. And over here I will press start and I will just remove this. These are not required. And part of best practice, I will make sure that I get the description above. So guys, uh, let's create the resource that is security group, double space, security. So over here, I will just click the security group. So over here, I will mention the security group name, allow EC2 traffic. That is the name and let me get the description. So we have provided a description. We don't require this parameter. We will remove this and we are only going to configure the ingress, not the egress. So over here, security group ingress. In ingress, we have to mention the ports that we want to open uh, for traffic. So over here, I will type security as soon as you see security group ingress CIDR. Okay. I will just copy this, correct the indentation. Now I will copy the same below. As we have to open two ports, so it is going to be TCP port, 
this is okay. And over here it is 80, 80, and the slider would be 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 slash 0 that is traffic from anywhere. I will just copy this slider and I will paste it over here. Now over here it would be SSH code that is 22. So guys now as part of this uh, resource we have opened uh, two ports 80 and 22. Now I will just go ahead and give the value over here. So the value would be instant security group. Now let's go ahead and create our EC2 instance. Sorry, double space, EC2, EC2 instance. So over here in EC2 instance, we won't require this properties. I will remove this. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to mm, yes. For key name, I have a key name which is custom VPC. For image ID, I have the Ubuntu image ID that I'm going to use. So guys make sure that you are uh, using this with Ubuntu. The reason for that is the commands that I am going to use in user data are Ubuntu commands. So I will paste the EMI ID over here. So guys if you are not sure from where you can pick the EMI ID what you can do. You can go to instances, launch an instance over here. Select the OS that you want to launch with and if you can see we have used this AMI ID which is free tier available. I mean to say eligible. So over here I would keep it t2.micro okay and in security group I will just refer the security group that we have created above that is instance security group and that's it the security group is created. So guys uh, the basic property we have provided now as part of user data we have to uh, provide the commands over here. So uh, let's remove this and start writing our script over here. So I will mention our script sudo apt get update minus y. get install hyphen y apache 2. So guys in the first command what we are going to do is we are going to update the packages of the Ubuntu instance. In the second command what we are going to do is we are going to install apache 2. Now let's go to the third command. In third command we are going to allow apache in the firewall rules okay that is sudo uf allow apache then in the fourth command what we have to do is we are going to use system ctl to enable our apache 2 to start the apache 2 and in the second after that we have to keep it enabled so next time whenever the machine is going to restart it will make sure that it will start the apache 2 property then over here uh, so at, as part of all the steps, the Apache would be installed. Uh, Apache is installed over here. Then we have opened uh, the firewall rule for Apache. Then we have uh, started the Apache service and then we have enabled the Apache service. So in case of any restart, it can start automatically. So four steps have been performed. And in the last step, what I will do, I will just echo. And I will mention cloud formation for beginner tutorial and dollar I will use the keyword as host name which will give me the name of this specific EC2 instance and I will route this to slash where slash www slash html slash index.html so this is the page which gets viewed when you install the apache so we are changing the index.html with our 
uh, message that is cloud formation for beginner tutorial and the host name so guys this is done over here i will just give the name of our ec2 instance that will be ubuntu ec2 instance ubuntu ubuntu with user data now as a part of output i will just copy paste to save the time on the video so guys our code is ready so what we have done in this code we have created two resources one was a security group uh, uh, so we have created a security group after creating a security group we have created in grace security group in grace uh, in which we have enabled uh, two ports that is 80 and 22 now if i go down uh, after that we have created the ec2 ubuntu instance so in this what we have done is uh, we have mentioned the key name, image ID, instance type and along with that we have attached the security group that we have created above which will enable the SSH and HTTP connectivity onto the EC2 instance. Then in user data we have mentioned the script that we are going to use. This script is going to install Apache 2 and it is going to enable the Apache 2 so that it can be restarted again. And over here we are going to write a one time uh, command which is going to add this message to index.html so uh, let's save this file so as our uh, build template is completed let's move on to the next step where we validate our template that we have created so i will go over here so let me check the name ec2 underscore user data i will just use the command that is the first command aws cloud formation validate template Okay, this is the command ec2 underscore user data underscore user data. That's it. Enter. So guys, we don't have any error over here. I will clear this. Now, once validation is completed, we are going to create our stack by using the second command that is AWS Cloud Formation create stack. So in create stack, I will give EC2 with user data and over here it is EC2 underscore user data. Let's see if the stack gets created. Okay, we got the stack ID. Now what I will do, I will jump to the console that is the cloud formation console. In stacks, I will just refresh it. So our stack creation is in progress. Let's see the events. Let's wait for a few seconds for the stack to be created successfully. So let's refresh it. So it is saying create complete. If I refresh this, it is showing create complete. So guys, our EC2 instance is launched successfully. Now, let's move to the next step where we will uh, verify the EC2 instance that we have created and whether it is associated with the security group that we have created from the AWS management console. So I will go over here and I will go to EC2 console over here in instances. Uh, if I go back, instances running. If you see there is one instance which is running, let's wait for the status check to be completed. So guys, if I refresh it, the checks are not yet completed. Let's wait. So guys, as you can see, the status check is completed. So let's first do one thing. I will select this. I will click on connect. First, let's see if SSH login is successful. I will go to the folder which is having the key so that I can SSH. I will just paste it over here. Enter. Yes. So guys, as you can see, we can log in successfully. So the EC2 instance is created and it can be logged in from port SSH2. Now uh, let's move to the second part. So guys, as you see, we can SSH. So now let's go ahead and check whether we can uh, access the Apache from H0 port. So over here, I have selected this instance. I will go over here, open address.
So guys, when you click on open address, it will show like this. So what you have to do, remove this HTTPS and paste just write colon 80 over here. So guys, as you can see, from IP, hello world, from IP, this, I guess, uh, yeah, hello world from IP. Let me refresh it. Okay, seems to be some cache issue. I have reloaded it. Now you can see cloud formation for beginners tutorial and the IP address of the AC2 instance. So that's it for this session, guys. Uh, so uh, before we move ahead, so what we have now checked is we have cross verified our AWS management uh, stack using AWS management console where we saw that we can access to our AC2 instance as well as we can access Apache on our 80 port. Now moving to the next step, guys. Once you are done with the uh, testing of this template, make sure that you perform a cleanup by uh, going to the console over here. <coughs> Go to cloud formation stacks, click on the stack and just click on delete. So that you are not built with unwanted cost for the same. So thank you for joining the session guys. Have a great day ahead. Goodbye.